Hello everybody, my name is Ryan and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for joining me today to watch season one, episode 10 of Ted Lasso, the finale of season one. I'm so excited. I mentioned at the end of the last episode, I'm very curious to see how a finale for this show ends. I don't know if it's going to be hopeful, if there's going to be some cliffhangers and some things that we need answered. I don't know. Very curious indeed. Very, very curious. A quick recap of the last episode. We got to see Roy really struggling on the field. I guess he was making lots of mistakes in their games and just being more of a problem than a help. And so we had Beard and Nate want to bench Roy. And so when Ted tried to broach that topic with him, he was obviously pissed and stormed away before Ted could even really say anything. Keely actually was able to get him to maybe view it a little bit differently and at least like take a breath about it. Cause he was like, I don't know what I am without football and that's all I am. And so she got his niece to say like all of these things that she associates with her uncle and none of them were about football. So I think that that really made a point. We also saw Rebecca come clean about everything to Ted. So I'm very happy that that weight has been lifted. And I feel like we have like a clean slate now and we can totally just try to go out and win this thing and have it be great. Rebecca also went and apologized to Higgins and we have Higgins back, which is also a win because we love Higgins. I don't know, Higgins, the facial hair that was going on there was something else, but you know, that's besides the point. Um, and then we got to see just some good discussions, I guess, between Ted and Roy and it was kind of like uh, Roy was going to think about the whole benching situation and I don't know, I guess about the future and stuff. So I'm curious to see, like, are we going to see the game that we were talking about yesterday where he might be benched? Is he going to be benched? We also have not seen Jamie in the last episode or anything about him, so I'm curious about that. And... Yeah, at the very end of the last episode, we saw Roy on the way out touch the believe sign, which I love. I was, that was just like hitting me, hitting me right in the heart. I loved it. I loved it. I loved it. And overall, just very excited to get into this episode. So I don't really want to talk much more about it. I just want to get into it. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon, link to that down below, as well as links to Discord, Instagram, anything else you might need. And without any further ado, let's just jump right in to Season 1, Episode 10 of Ted Lasso. Let's go. This show has no business being as good as it is, so let's just start there, you know? Who did this? Who the hell are you? <gasps> oh, hi, hello. I'm... Uh oh. No, you're not. I'm the clubhouse, Ted. <laughs> hey, Higgins, where are you? Ted, what the fuck's going on? I don't know. I'm trying to figure it out myself. There you go. Is this because I called Isaac a pussy? I will have Good to get morning, back. everyone. You shrew. You did this, didn't you? Why so hostile, Nathan? Right, I'll tell you why. Hey, dog, you have been fired. It's worse. You've been promoted. <laughs> To what? Oh, Nathan. I present to you this whistle, but it is sad. Do you know why? No. Because it has never been blown. Is that the same reason why I called it sad? Pronounce you, <laughs> Coach Nate. <laughs> Nathan that's incredible oh I love that guys oh no oh no I'm gonna cry <laughs> get it together get it, get it together the uh, captain has to be on the pitch that's the rule I say that the current captain has to pick the new captain I decline I insist Come. <laughs> Until you choose your successor, your duties as captain of this squad remain unfulfilled. This is why it's hard to love you. <laughs> May 
Manchester City is coming into our house for the final match. But preparation-wise... <sighs> Just any other game. We could get relegated. We got relegated when I was at Cardiff. Hey. Oh god, we're gonna be going against Jamie. Even though I did carry him through every match, but they're good lads. Apart from Roy Kent, he is a mob. You know, it's the karma. It's gonna get you. Oh. Oops, in it. Well said. <laughs> Oops, in it. <laughs> Beat Norwich by six goals and we avoid relegation with just a tie. No, 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 no. Nope, sorry. Uh -uh. No, I hate ties. Nate, how many times I gotta tell you that? They ain't natural, all right? It is hopeless. Yeah. Oh, I'm sorry, it's hopeless? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that ring a bell, Nate? That ring a very large bell on your head. You have that hanging in your home. You got Tony's hanging up in here. Guys, I need a believe sign. Well, hello, Nelson. Let me introduce you to another Nelson right here. I think you two will hit it off just fine because you're both so damn <laughs> pessimistic. Ed, since you're carrying around something today besides biscuits. Good eye, small fry. Yeah. <laughs> I hate to say it, Rebecca, but I think your football club might have been better off with a soccer coach. <laughs> yeah, whatever you got. Whatever you want. Okay. You don't really murder me. <laughs> All that? You get what I'm getting at? Fine. Okay. You get okay. the gist. Yeah. So, you think you're not a proper football manager? <laughs> I mean, sure, you don't know what you're doing. But doesn't that mean that you see the game in a different way than any other football manager? And shouldn't that empower you to cause complete and utter confusion? Cut! Create chaos. Yeah? Yes, it is. Thanks, Paul. Come on, Ooh. Rebecca! Oh, oh God. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Now the idea behind every trick play is to have chaos rain down upon your opponents and stun them. Much like the lava did to those poor folks in Pompeii. So is all of their plays just gonna be like trick plays? That'd be so fun. Alright guys, I'll tell you right now, we're gonna go out there. And we're gonna learn a bunch of these plays, you hear? Oh god, what's the last so special? I can't fucking wait. I can't wait. Oh man. Yo, Jamie. Look at this Tom. fool. You, yeah? Oh, this dude from the plane. An Ussie. Oh, I'm always rooting for him. Classic mind game. Right, you can fuck off. Whoa! What do you think this is, you fool? No. Ah! Is Roy here? I'm gonna say in front of this dry old shit. Why? You won't say anything, will you? Yes. <laughs> Fuck. Nah. Saying nice shit about me on the telly, trying to get in my head. He does like you. Not as full of shit as he is. Oi. Jamie, not everyone in your life is out to get you. I oh, am. Yeah. <laughs> Honesty. I do. Oh, that is disgusting. <laughs> well, now I want my she pays. <laughs> That's cool, bud. The Richmond Oh, God. Guys, the, the I'm shitting a brick. <laughs> I'm scared. Oh, God. Oh, this sport. I've forgotten how stressful it is when you actually give a shit. Uh, yeah, right. But today... Uh, today I care very much. Oh. <laughs> oh, no. Jesus Christ. And this is our eldest Lindsay. Don't worry. He's a cool priest. When your parents have you out of wedlock, it allows you space to explore life's little grey areas. <laughs> Come on. Never stop breaking TVs. Do you believe in miracles? And if you do, then I want y'all to circle up with me right now. Yeah. Come on, let's go. 
Let me in here. All right, Captain. Let them know. Let them know. Push them on 12. One, two, seven, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. What? <laughs> okay. Hey, Jamie. Good luck. It's Richmond versus Manchester. Mm, okay. Corner kick. Corner kick. Go for the Sandman. Call what? Sandman. 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 Yes, the Sandman. Row has to take the corner. It's a dummy. Oh, and another one. What is this? Dixon again. No handling saves with this ball. Damn. Oh, baby, the Sandman almost rocking the sleep right there. A bit of trickery from Ted Lasso. I haven't seen that one before. Nice move, though. Nice move. And that's... <sighs> Guys, my hands are sweating. Finley, Richmond are still in this, thanks to the stellar play of Zorro in goal. Okay, well, you got it. It's, it's Reynolds. No, 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 you got short. We gotta get the Lasso special in this bitch. Somebody check the Crystal Palace score. Hey, no, 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 absolutely not. I don't want to hear about any other game going on any other place, okay? Look, we are not playing for a tie. Ain't nobody here going to kiss their sister. <laughs> okay. ...that I'm now realizing does not exist. I, I don't think so. I've never heard that. I can't hear your nods. Do you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes. Okay, good. All right. Roy, you are starting the second half. Go ahead and start warming up. Let's go. Get Roy Kent. <laughs> Come on, Kelly. Zorro in position. Hendrick to take. It's going to go in. I'm still a chance. Come on, Richmond! Oh, I love you when you give a shit. Go on, Richmond! Jamie's <laughs> hard with the breakaway. No. Break Jamie's kneecaps, honestly. Come on, Roy! Get pissed! Come on, Roy! Go, Roy! Go, Roy! Yeah! Go, Roy! Did he hurt himself? He hurt himself, right? He's not getting up. Yeah. I was gonna say. Why are you okay? Fuck. Fuck my knee. You want to come for the stretcher, right? No, she just held me up. Oh no. What the fuck are you doing? It's all right. He's every fucking way! Guys, I'm crying. I love Roy. <laughs> I love him. Yeah, fruity language as the crowd serenades Roy Kent with a song that's echoed through the Premier League for more than a decade. He's there. He's there. Yeah, he fucked you over, Jamie. As Kent comes off, he claps the fans in gratitude. Kent has been a fan favorite. Yeah, how's that feel, Jamie? You little shit. <laughs> well, you have to wonder, Arlo. At his age, with that injury, personally, I'm sorry to say, I think this may be the last time we ever see the great Roy Kent lace up his boots. Really? I told you you have to get out. I mean it. Stay the fuck away from me. Happening. This is only 26,000 people checking the mobiles. Oh my god, Palace won 6 0. But then that means all we need is time. We need time, boys! Where is Danny Rojas on crack? Like, we need that action. We need the lasso special. The lasso special? Holy shit! 
Is the game over? Yeah, I was gonna say, is it over? Like, we're just celebrating a. <sighs> no. Somebody. Oh, he makes the extra pass! Oh! Manchester City win and AFC Richmond's time in the Premier League is over. Well, that fucking sucks. <laughs> Damn. Unless we got a foul coming or whatever. We could, we could, would have, could have, should all day long, but uh, that, that, that's, that's it's a tough loss. It's a tough loss. Ooh. Uh oh. To watch my son pass the ball. You could have scored the winner. You're God damn. Zero, where are you at? That dude had more saves than a Baptist preacher. Give it up for Zero. Yeah. Roy chased down his grandson. <laughs> now look, this is a sad moment right here. For all of us. There ain't nothing I can say. Stand in front of you right now, that can take that away. But please, do me this favor, will you? Lift your heads up, look around this locker room. Are they able to like get back up to there? I don't know how it works, so. And I want you to be grateful that you're going through this sad moment with all these other folks. Sam, do you remember what animal has the shortest memory? Goldfish. <laughs> Is it goldfish? Sam, what do you think we should all do once we get done being sad and or angry about this situation? We should all be a goldfish. I agree. Let's be sad now. Let's be sad together. And then we can be a gosh darn goldfish. Is that a letter from Tad? Known as a feminine junior. Oh, cool. Come on. Uh oh, that feels like a goodbye. Jesus Christ. Is he getting fired after all this? If it's all the same to you, I'd like to spare you the trouble and just quit. Um, this here is my letter of resignation. Um, you are not going anywhere because we have work to do. Next season. Well, okay. All right, then. Thank so, God. Tell me this, though. Uh, the, the teams that get relegated, they can get uh, unrelegated, yeah? We do something that no one believes we could ever do. Win the whole fucking thing. There you are. <laughs> Come on, baby. <laughs> I'm sorry. Did I get you? <laughs> the callback. I guess it does make sense that they lost, being that there are three seasons. It wouldn't make sense if they like won the whole thing on season one. 
it does make sense. And I was gonna say, I feel like it's something that they could get to again if they like win a lower level. Oh, I really hope Roy plays again. I don't know, the way they were talking, they were like, nah, he's done. <laughs> this is the last we'll ever see of Roy Kent. That, oh. And Killy going in and like holding him. What a finale. The letter to Jamie about the extra pass. Seeing Jamie's dad screaming at him for making the extra pass. Like, what if he went for it and he didn't make it and it was a tie? Sir. Then what? Then what? <sighs> Guys, I just don't even know. I don't even know what to do. Oh, <laughs> I loved the scene where Jamie came over to talk to Healy and Roy was there. He was like... What are we doing here? That was so funny. But it's nice that like, there's no funny business going on there and like feelings aren't weird. Like, it wasn't like she was trying to do anything behind anybody's back. She was just like, what do you want? And I'm here to talk to you and be nice to you. But obviously this is my boyfriend. <laughs> like, it was just, oh, I love it. And seeing the games, like I get so hype. <laughs> I get so hype about the games. I don't know what's going on. I like, I'm so sad that we lost. We had some great moments, like the lasso special. We hit them with that lasso special. They didn't know it was coming. We need more of that, I think. Just things to confuse the hell out of them. <laughs> and be like, what? where are they going? What's going on? And we need Jamie back, I think. And I think we might be getting Jamie back in season two, perhaps. Or I guess not, because he would have to go to a lower level. Wait. Scotia, I guess maybe that's not possible. I don't know. But I feel like we need Jamie back. I don't know why. Like, I would expect him to, like, go down a level. Like, that feels weird. But I don't know. I feel like we, I feel like we need him. <laughs> I don't know. As much as I don't really love Jamie. <sighs> man's got issues. He needs a therapist. That's what he needs. Oh. I'm happy, I don't know. The handshake there from Higgins at the end, I was like, it felt like he was gonna be fired. Like Ted was about to be fired. Just the way that that felt. I was like, uh-oh. <laughs> and his little resignation on the takeout menu. <laughs> I'm happy that she's like fully behind him and actually wants to succeed and stuff now. And there were a lot of callbacks in these last two episodes of like, from like the first episode, which I thought was nice. Like just little things like, the water, the bubbly water, or the thing in the dreams, things like that. So I, I, I like that too. Like that's something that is funny at face value, but if you remember and not everything go, like goes blank on you, then it just adds that extra layer. Wow. I cannot wait to get into season two and see what it's about. I love Keely and I love Roy. Roy's making me cry. <laughs> I love him. I love him. Keely's hilarious, but I think Roy just might be my favorite. Cause I I've, I've been saying Keely's my favorite. But I don't know. Roy makes me emotional all the time. So maybe he's my favorite. I don't really know. Obviously I love Ted, so there's that. I'm curious to see if we're gonna see Ted get another love interest or not. And same with Rebecca. I'm just, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Thank you so much for watching this episode with me, this finale with me, the whole season with me. As always, the full episode reaction for this episode and all of the other episodes will be up on my Patreon. The link that's down below. And I will see you guys back here with me for the next episode, which is season two, baby. See you then. Bye. <laughs>